Thanks. Hello, this is Jacobo from Igalia with an update on my recent accessibility work in Chrome. You may know that a lot of our work to make the browser accessible is to make sure that everything can be used with only a keyboard. For example, for a native HTML slider to be accessible, we need it to accept key presses to modify its value. The convention is to use the arrow keys for that. And if web authors build a custom widget for that purpose, accessibility authoring guidelines explicitly recommend to implement keyboard event listeners for increase, decrease, etc. attached to the arrow keys and set the area role slider. So from the point of view of a keyboard user, it works just the same. But there are devices which don't have a keyboard and users who cannot use a keyboard either. So some assistive technologies rely on gestures or voice commands. To implement them, the different accessibility toolkits have actions APIs. A UI component is allowed to expose a list of operations, uh, which can be different for every component. Going back to the slider example, this would expose actions named increment and decrement. We already have some support in place for these two actions in Blink. If applied to a native HTML slider, the increase and decrease actions will work as expected. A custom widget with a role slider will also expose those actions, but they won't work yet. Why? Because the logic for these actions is implemented in JavaScript and is triggered by key press events only. The solution proposed in the accessible object model effort to make actions working on those custom widgets is synthesizing the correct events for the website to consume. If the increment action produced the same events as a right key press, this is key down and up, the website would react to them and increase the slider. We are currently capable of synthesizing up, down, left and right keyboard events in response to increment and decrement actions, depending on the slider orientation and text direction. This is hidden under a flag. We are currently working on the context menu and scroll page actions to make them synthesize the corresponding mouse or keyboard events. There are more kinds of actions that we haven't implemented in Chrome yet, but we might consider adoption of actions APIs before going for them. Finally, we are reviewing the different platform accessibility implementations we host in Chrome, checking if we are exposing actions where it makes sense. Otherwise, these features won't be available to AT implementations, and it would be a waste. That's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.